Wonderful. Welcome, everybody. It's great to be here in Easter week. Hurrah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, to begin to explore the resurrection and moving through East, the, the, that post-Easter period as we try to understand the implications of the resurrection in our life and, and begin to point ourselves towards two very significant festivals uh, in, in, at Ascension and Pentecost. Got Paul with me this morning. Hello, Paul. Good morning, Richard. Happy Easter to you. Pro properly, it's the first time I've seen you since Easter Day. There you are. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we I, and I've been out this morning. We battled through a millimetre of snow. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I mean, I obviously, with the, with the snowfall, I, I presume that means that I can't work until um, midsummer. No, um, you live in the Midlands. You don't live, I, 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 if I dare to say this online, you don't live in the south of England, where where an inch of snow is a national emergency. So, no. <laughs> um, but it's it's. I mean, it's it's going to simply keep the flowers going for a bit longer, so um, we can see that. And um, I hope very much that people will enjoy the sunshine as well and, and get out in it today, because it really does buck you up. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. And it was Brilliant. actually warm enough yesterday for people to enjoy the um, our new Fran Freedoms and hopefully catch out, ca catch up with some people um, in gardens and stuff without freezing to death. So, yeah, I caught it was nice, actually, because we, we, we managed to catch get into a, a, a wind free sunny bit and therefore survive without frostbite, which was great. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Lovely. Huh. So, Brilliant. yes, we've got, um, we're doing Psalm 147 verses 1 to 12 when we get that far. Um, yep. And uh, if you're live, then an especial welcome. You can follow us through in the usual manner and pop any comments that you like. And Paul will no doubt pick them up when we get as far. I will do my very best. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ. Let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Mm -hmm. um, the Easter anthem. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. A glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 147, beginning at the first verse. Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the numbers of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor and casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. Who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. Who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse. No delight in human strength. 
but the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In the, this week of Easter, we um, journey through the Song of Solomon, in, if you're reading the Old Testament readings, the celebration of love. And if you're, uh, and to follow with me this morning, we're in Luke chapter 24, starting at verse 1. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while you were still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the son of James and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen clothes by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at all that had happened. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. So today in this, in the light of the resurrection, we pray that the Lord will mightily bless the ministry of his church in the world. Grant us grace, Lord, to be salt and light wherever we go. Let your anointing be upon our lips and upon our lives as we give ourselves up to your service. Grant us grace to be very wise in the way that we deal with people, especially those who are not of the household of faith, who will look upon us to be ambassadors of the Christian faith. Lord, in your mercy. Well, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for, um, for safety for our communities as, as we start to meet together more, as we start to enjoy each other's company afresh uh, in person. Lord, we give thanks for all of the different ways in which um, 
interaction can now take place, particularly for, for those with um, that can start to uh, meet with loved ones in care homes more and more. Um, there'll be meetings of uh, folk and, and grandchildren, perhaps, that they've not seen at all or have not seen in a very long time. So, Lord, we give thanks for all of those good things that are opening up, and we pray for your hand of protection to be over us as we move forward through this time. Our Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord those who have really struggled with the pandemic, uh, those who are now very frustrated and desperate to get out and to meet people and, and to do stuff. And we pray that they won't jump the gun. Mm. We recognize that there are concerns that the infection rate will go up as restrictions ease. And we pray that this will be a small and manageable effect if there is that effect at all. We pray that the Lord will help those who will want to have a very unrestrained summer to be reined in and to think about bigger things than their own self-expression and pleasure. Lord, in your mercy. I hear our prayer. Lord, we do give thanks that we were able to, to worship in person over the weekend. Lord, we thank you that we were able to celebrate uh, the wonder of your resurrection um, together, albeit we're still in with limitations, but at least together. Thank you for that. And we do pray for uh, the uh, continuing opening of our churches more and more uh, for, for public worship. And we pray that as we work out how you are calling us to be your church, that we may be continue to be creative over these coming weeks and months and into the years to come, that uh, we may be the church that you want us to be. Oh, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Today we're praying for the Archdeacon of Worcester and the Archdeacon of Dudley, so that's mm -hmm. Robert Jones and Nicky Grok, along with um, their secretary, the amazing Cathy Jones. Mm -hmm. We give thanks for all that they do and give in the life of our diocese. We pray that they will have health and energy. Um, we recognise that... Um, at various times, different members of Bishop's staff have been impaired through injury or illness. And we pray that there will be a tremendous protection for Robert and Nikki in this regard. Hmm. We left before the Lord, the Bishop of Bendigo in Australia, Bishop Matt Brain. And we pray that the Lord will lead and guide the ministry of the church throughout Australia. Hmm. We recognize that each country has its own challenges and we pray that as Australia grows and develops as a nation that the church will be effective in growing and developing uh, a ministry which meets the needs of the upcoming generation. Lord, in your mercy, I hear our prayer. Thank you. In that way, we think of parts of the world that are, are changing um, rapidly, how interactions between different parts of the world, different uh, countries, uh, neighbours and people, uh, nations at greater distance is changing and developing. Lord, we pray for your peace to rule over the, over the world and in those interactions between nations. And Lord, we're conscious of those um, nations that where, where there is less respect for, um, for people of faith, particularly uh, the Christian community. We pray where, for your protection over those who are persecuted, for those who live in fear. And Lord, we pray for a transparency in how we behave in our nations 
and for um, each of each nation to hold other nations to account. May we all be under your watchful gaze, Lord, and operate in your righteousness and your truth. Our Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. So we commit our Tuesdays to the Lord. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory. To whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Excellent. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, uh, Richard. I'm sure you'll have a really good day, everybody, and uh, enjoying the Easter season. So, Indeed. bless you. Bye for now. Oh, and if Paul can find the mouse, we'll see you all soon. <laughs>